Rohan's Corner, working overtime, recording fine, that's just prime. Super reviews, which will neutralize Hasbro's wave of crimes. Magic Square to the rescue, and New Age has got such super paint work. Ro -ro -ro Rohan is the mighty power that can save the day. Ro -ro -ro Rohan. No one knows what lies behind his wall of fame. R -r -r Rohan, always riding hard on Hasbro's trail. Come see the memes he plays every Friday. Thank you, my friends. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another exciting adventure here on Rohan's Corner. And this week, we have finally got the review of the new Transformers Earth Spark series. Uh, wait, no, hang on a minute. I didn't get a chance to watch any more episodes. I've seen just one episode. Okay, so we'll leave that for another week. But um, what else can we do this week? I know it's 2022. That means it's the 20th anniversary of Transformers Armada and the Unicron trilogies. Yes! Finally, everybody's been waiting to see me do a celebration of this, haven't they? Absolutely. That's what I thought. What do you mean, B? Nobody wants to see that. One person likes Armada. Who's that? Andy? No, he only likes the toys, mate. RJ? Yeah, I'm not sure he really is that much into it anymore. Does anybody actually want to see Transformers Armada, a celebration, 20 years? Anybody? Write it in the chat. One person? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If anybody wants to see a review of Transformers uh, Spark in the coming weeks, let me know and I'll put it up. If anybody wants to see a celebration of Transformers Armada and the 20th anniversary, put it in the chat and I'll do it. But for this week, what does that leave us with? Hmm, well, oh, I suppose I've got a couple of nice new New Age figures, Grimlock and Beachcomber. Maybe I could do a review of them. Or perhaps something to do with, hmm, what else could there be? I'm not really sure. Oh, wait, oh, oh wait. look at that. I got a new bot. And it's none other than KFC's Toe Cutter. Thank you, Mr. John Grieve, or otherwise known as Borders Dude, for this excellent figure. Let's get into him! Okay, so disclaimer before we get started. Yes, I know Toe Cutter is not actually a Transformer. He's based on a GoBot, which you all love, don't you? I know you're all going bananas in the chat right now. Try to control yourself. But he's based on the Junkions from the KFC Toys range. And so why not have a look at his brethren to see what he's like? First of all, we've got the packaging. This is my first ever KFC masterpiece scale toy and i have to say the artwork is pretty cool the color scheme's nice we've got some japanese or chinese i'm, I'm not very good at uh, oriental languages uh writing here on the side and we've got e-r-a-v-i metal at the back toe cutter for some reason it's probably because of the spikes and the wheels uh hazard choking hazard some stickers some other stuff converts from robot warrior to apocalyptic motorcycle and back again Right, okay, well, we shall see whether or not that's any good. P6K and Keith's Fancy Club, which is what KFC stands for, in case you were all thinking it was some fried chicken. Anywho, let's open him up. Box. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the box we have, of course, got Toe Cutter himself, who is the epitome of the evil renegade Gobot, Psykill, leader of the bad guys. We have this massive pamphlet or booklet instructions, all in color, re really nice there to go with him, although it's rather large. A nice little card with some specs on the back. He has endurance 10, strength 8, courage 9, blah de blah 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 um, We get a couple of wheels with some spikes on there, which obviously are for his shoulders slash for alt mode. Uh, we get some coilovers suspension with actual springs on there, which is pretty cool. And they double up as weapons. And then there are a few bits and pieces in a baggie, which are accessories. So extra spikes and connectors and what looks like some handlebars. So let's open him up, shall we? Okay, so first impression straight out of the box are, boy, oh boy, is this guy hefty. I mean, you know, I am a Legends collector, so I probably do have uh, puny little hands that, uh, you know, Jamie and Andy are probably thinking, nah, that guy can't even handle the masterpiece figure. But, you know, I'm not used to them all the time, but it's got some real height, girth, weight to it. There's some die cast on this guy, which adds to the heft. All round, he seems to have presence. The legs, the arms, the chest is a little bit flat, but it does have that nice 
incandescent reuse of the cartoon accuracy in the paintwork there. The wheels add on quite nicely. You get the chrome accents down the side. And if we come around to the back, we can see some of the cockpit for his bike mode. A uh, little bit of screwage there in the back of his head and shoulders and around this side is pretty much the same. One thing I will say is John warned me before he sent me this figure that he does not stand really well. And so I've taken a screwdriver to his ankles and tightened them up somewhat so I can get him to stand a little bit better. And I think he looks great. I would still like to try and get the Action Toys DX Robo, so I killed the uh, Masterpiece Scale one that they did, because I feel his facial expression on that figure is even better, as well as having a better chest. But I can't quibble on the actual design of this guy. It's pretty decent, as can be seen right here. Okay, and so because this is, of course, a, a Rohan's Corner through the Generations review comparison of our new figure, I have, of course, got a few of my generational other side kills out and i have to give once again a big thanks to john greve mr borders dude for my little mini original side kill here which i got recently from him as part of this deal with toe cutter and i also have to give a big thanks out to sam leslie who got me this the super sized uh, gobot original side kill figure there who is maybe a little bit more play worn but hey ho um this little dude's missing his engine but hey ho and then on the left hand side here we have dx9's salmore which i got recently which is a bit of a stylized version of side kill but still looks pretty decent obviously the new toe cutter version is much much larger than any of the others uh but i think they kind of work kind of nicely together none of them really hit the money on the head in terms of the look design of the cartoon aesthetic probably toe cutter is the closest and in terms of the proportions he probably actually stacks up pretty well i do like salmore in terms of his design aesthetics and uh I'm just so pleased with these two guys. What can I say? Robot mode comparison with some other scales of figures. We have, of course, the Earthrise uh, slash Studio Series st Leader Starscream, New Age's Grimlock, and New Age's Beachcomber, Magic Square Megatron, Legacy Prime Knockout. And you can see he's obviously much, much larger. I don't actually have any uh, Masterpiece figures to hand which are in robot mode. I don't actually own many. But if you'd like to see a comparison with... Here's uh, Menasaur from Magic Square, the combiner, and he's not much smaller, really, is he? All right, and here we have a toe cutter in his motorcycle mode. Transformation is quite involved, and it does require a lot of fettling, and it doesn't give you that satisfaction of clipping things in or pegging bits in and getting a real hefty weighted feel into the connection but it does actually fit together quite nicely things aren't going to fall off there is a fair bit of parts forming obviously as we could probably see from the weapons that become the you know axle stands at the front here the coilover suspension the wheels obviously come off and attach as well just like with most dx9s and even the original gobot uh, figures had uh, all the way around he, he has got a little bit of open appendage at the rear end um but ultimately it's a nice looking old mode it, it's decent obviously the big gripe for me is the fact that we've got the spiky wheels which means we can't really roll around it's nice that they added these kickstands at the bottom here which are pretty cool and the die cast really adds to the aesthetic as well i feel um there are some additional accessories you can put on you can have grapples here for the braking system and these wing mirrors you can add on if you wish to do so they're not essential but you know if you wanted to have that real motorbike look you can you can do so um i know that some people had some issues with this top section here not clipping in correctly and this one does clip in uh, but if you knock it then it will come out uh, it doesn't clip in satisfactorily um, and there are some nice details here like on the engine on the side here with the silver paint work although there are also some exposed screw holes as well so yeah it is what it is and of course you've got the exhaust pipe on either side 
All right, so here we have uh, Psykeel with his other Psykeel brethren. We can see on the left-hand side here the scale differential between all of them is obviously massive. Um, in terms of the DX9 Salmor, it is more stylized, more Harley Davidson, more parts forming in terms of the weapons coming and creating these massive exhausts. It's a nice kickstand that they've given on that figure, much wider actually in stance than most of the others. The original Super Gobots, uh, Psykill has a nice engine that connects through and it all stays connected to the bot as he transforms, as do the wheels, and they all get into position quite nicely. He's missing his handlebars. He does not come with a kickstand and his exhaust pipes sort of go up. He again has this exposed bum area here. And then of of course, the original GoBot, uh, what do they call them? Deluxe? Not even Deluxe, they're just regular mini little guy down the bottom there missing his engine. Otherwise, he looks pretty decent in my opinion. Might have to try and find an engine for him. I like the new uh, toe cutter style of bike. It's not quite what we saw in the cartoon, but it isn't bad and uh, gives you the opportunity to sit a boss on top of him if you so wish to do so. Okay, and here we have a couple of comparison picks with some other various scales of alt mode. We've got New Ages, Cosmos, and Outback. We have the original GoBot Turbo. We have Generation 1 Redgar, Studio Series 86 Redgar, and McFans Toys Astro Train. Right, B, so what are our final thoughts then on this guy over here, Toe Cutter? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. At £100, £105, pounds, pounds, maybe even somewhere £110, pounds, I think this is a bit of an expensive toy. It's great if you're a Psykill fan, and I would definitely pay £60, £70, £80 pounds max for it, but not much more than that. I think if you can get one which isn't going to break the bank, go for it. But first and foremost, be a GoBot fan. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Anywho, for another week, I've been Rohan, and this has been B on Rohan's Corner. Join us again next week. Back to the studio. Transformers, Rohan's in disguise.